Muskrat story is one of my favorites. I have written it down and uh, it ha has helped me in my job. I answered it. She said, oh, hello. She said, oh, hi, Louie. How are you? And then she said, okay, yep. Oh, wow, that sounds like fun. And I knew who, right who that was. That was Louie. He drove this old dilapidated beast of a truck. And, uh, and all of a sudden I hear the boom. Truck backfired as he turned it off. Have you ever heard a truck backfire? Yeah. Well, it scared them. <laughs> so, but I knew it was Lily, so I was okay. And, all, and I could hear him. He got out of the truck. The doors are very creaky. And all. That's the way it sounds when he said it. Shut it. Comes, he came into the house and he goes, Ah, oh, bonjour, Harriet. That's why he would say my mother's name. Harriet. He goes, John, he goes, you know I am an amazing shot. He goes, if I see a muskrat, I can shoot it. I can hit anything, he said, with my rifle. He said, okay, Louis, this is going to be fun. Oh, this day, is be Louis was like, oh, this is so beautiful today, Jean. I can't believe we are going to get a muskrat. <laughs> he goes, and you know, Jean, I am an amazing hunter. <laughs> I said, oh, are quite amazing. So we started out on our journey, walking across the ice, and I noticed something. I looked down, and there's little puddles of ice. But I kept walking, and I had some rubber boots on, so it was okay. And uh, and it was just the sun was beaming down. Glorious, 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 glorious. Jean! All right. Let me stop. And she said, all right, Jean. He goes, look. And I looked over, and there was a hut. And he looked a little closer, and he said, took a look at that muskrat and he took a shot. Well, that's what I saw. I saw that muskrat stand up on his hind legs like that. <laughs> Looked at him just like that and then just put it, started, kept sunning himself. <laughs> right in the sun. I was like, what the? Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Jean was says, I, Louis, I think I got him. <laughs> I said, Taking that time. He looks at me and says, shh. I said, Louis, I'm not talking. He goes, shh. <laughs> and his hand was going like this. He looks at me again. Stop the breathing! <laughs> Takes a very long time on this. Go, I look. That muskrat stands on its hind legs again, just like that. <laughs> this time it goes, woo! And it runs down the hut and it goes right into it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Louis, I stop that muskrat! He goes, I'm an amazing shot. He goes, I am an amazing hunter. And I said, Louis, I don't know if you really got that muskrat. He says, oh, oh child, you know. Let us go and let us get the muskrat, he said. Uh-oh. So we time. walked over, and you saw that muskrat hut, right? It had a little hole. I don't want to stick my hand in that hole. Muskrats have big teeth like this. <laughs> I saw the big teeth, and it was sitting on the top of the hut, <laughs> looking at me like that. And I said, oh, I don't want to put my hand there. But Louis said, oh, John, do not be afraid. You are strong. But inside, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this bad idea. So I walk over to the, the, the hole, and I, I can't see anything. And Louis says, oh, John, John, just get a little hand. close. Like this, and I went to grab the tail, and all of a sudden, bah! <laughs> I jumped out of that hole as I could. That muskrat turned around and jumped at me. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I was able to pull my hand out in time, and he didn't bite me, and I just Jump back and said, Louie! That thing was alive! Wounded. I said you didn't wound anything! You didn't hit anything! That, that muskrat is alive and active and ready to bite. I'm not sticking my whole hand in there again. So anyway, that this was pretty emotional, right? Yes. I was stressed. Louie was disappointed because he didn't get the muskrat. <clears throat> I was scared. I really just wanted at this point to go he's home. whistling a song. I think it was a French Canadian song. Oh, Canada, I think was what it's on. <laughs> and we're looking and it's really beautiful outside. And all of a sudden I hear something. <laughs> my legs. And there's a crack going right between my legs. The ice is cracking! And 
and I looked at Lloyd and I said, oh my god, look at that. He said, do not move, Jean. He said, a rat, do not move. <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And I didn't grab your hand. So he took one little step towards me to grab my hand and a whole ice crack. <laughs> <laughs> I went right through the all ice. the way down to the bottom. <gasps> Goo! And I was so cold. I've never felt anything so cold. And I got to the bottom, and somehow I don't know how I was able to push my way back up. <gasps> and I, got, I, I had it grabbed onto it, and I grabbed onto a little chunk of ice, and I put the gun on top. And I looked at Louis, and I said, Louis! Help! <laughs> and come to get me. And he took a couple moves, a couple more moves. And he reached out his hand and he put his weight a little bit on one front leg and <laughs> Louis went all the way. He fell in too. And Louis, there's one thing I didn't tell you about Louis. If anybody had seen the seagull story, he cannot swim. <laughs> Push himself up to so He gets up to the dog and he goes, Sha! I cannot swim. Somehow I was able to take my left hand <laughs> onto the ice. And we were able to maneuver our way around till we found the spot that was thicker. And somehow we grabbed on. And we were able to just little by little pull our weight. So we got out of the ice. And we felt a lot better. But one thing. It is so cold you've never seen it. Cold. Like it is. <laughs> and we grabbed them. And we started as fast as we could running over the ice. <laughs> And all of a sudden, we got right by the road. And there were people in their harness. This one guy rolled down his arm and goes, Get some clothes on, people! And we're running as fast as we could. And I'm sure now people think, Who are these crazy people? But anyway, we got into. Yeah, I know. But we got to the car. The old jalopy, which is, an old, uh, is another word for an old car. Crank the heat, thank goodness the heater worked, right? <laughs> Dried off some of our clothes, put them back on. Eight hours after that. And that's the end of the story. Another one! Bacon story! Bacon story! That's a true story. The bacon story! Do the bacon story! Yeah.